New this morning, a new audit shining light on D.C. police showing the department is staffed with enough patrol officers, but the report says there may be a need to change on how those officers are utilized. It also says the department needs to collect better data, more and complete data. Our Tosin Fakile has been going through the report from the D.C. office, the office of the D.C. auditor. So Tosin, what did MPD have to say about this audit? Nye and Corey, good morning. Following the release of that audit, MPD says its central conclusion it is at odds with reality, and they say increasing the number of sworn staffing is essential to supporting the city. Now, the audit uh, revealed MPD is adequately staffed with just over 1,300 officers, but the department is short 65 investigators, primarily district detectives, based on the workload of the Investigations Bureau. That audit collected available data over for 18 months. Now the audit's findings say MPD urgently needs to gather more comprehensive data on how patrol services and investigative services personnel spend their time. The data also concluded instead of adding to patrol services, staffing should be reallocated among shifts. So that audit made some recommendations. It suggested MPD addressed where and when patrol officers are needed rather than increasing or decreasing them. It says the findings show more, more patrol officers are needed on day and nights and fewer office patrol officers on the midnight shift. It also recommends DC police analyze the department's executive level staffing and also recommends the department look at some of the ways to consolidate executive staffing responsibilities. Now coming up in the next hour, I'll tell you how MPD reacts and what the officials with MPD are saying following this audit and we'll also break down where crime data stands right now in the district so far this year. But for now, we're live in D.C. I'm Tosa Fikile. I'll send it back to you.